It is the catch up 14 past four with Daryl and Samantha joining us in the studio now. Well, uh, a local girl, Janelle Johnson. Hello. Hello. Hi, Janelle. Thanks for having me. Now you've popped in. Um, what, what's the best? What? How do you describe yourself with what you do? Well, I'm a speaker coach, so I empower people to have a voice and um, particularly business owners. I think it's so important for them to notice how public speaking is such a great marketing tool for their business. Well, it's it's one of those things because we were talking just before we come on air. Um, everyone's social media, everyone's got a social media account and that's great, but people still want to find or meet the person behind that. And behind the scenes yeah. is, is sexy and we're looking for someone to relate well, to. We want to know. Well, unless you're talking about us in here. It's like, <laughs> well, some, we do do some pretty cool behind the yeah. scenes stuff some, right about some, now. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, thanks, I just reminded me to press the button. Uh, sometimes, uh, yeah, sometimes, yeah, no, I'm not going to, it's never sexy in the studio, but that's not the point. Public speaking is pretty much everyone's biggest fear is it? it's the top of the list yeah mm. it's, there's actually a name for it is it's, it's called glossophobia okay that so sounds like some phobia. it sounds like some really awful disease <laughs> but there is a name for it and they say that about 74 percent of people in the population suffer from glossophobia i actually think it's a lot more now that's a high percentage but it, but it's true look i, I know of people we've had people in the studio that come in and they're fine to have a chat as soon as you turn that microphone on they sort of go oh it uh, changes and, it up doesn't well, it and there's nothing in here we we don't actually have a big red light that flashes or anything like this you're so pretty it's, scary it's outside <laughs> it's just it's just me yelling out mics on mics on but some people just get frightened with public speaking. and it's not just in the studio here it's if you've got to get in up in front of anybody and do a presentation but in this day and age there's a lot more of that that happens isn't there mm. absolutely and i think that the fear is real and it's a common fear because every it's a human behavioral fear people have this fear of not being good enough or not being liked and so that's when it pops up in public speaking mm. is when am i going to be good enough will people like me will i be judged and yes you will be judged i'm being judged right now mm. from all the listeners mm. whether they like me or they don't like me and so it's about getting yourself comfortable with being who you are and your authentic self well it's a self preservation mechanism isn't it for us to want to judge to protect ourselves so that takes you to all different aspects of business, whether you're meeting, like we were talking before, with potential clients and customers or other business owners, or if you're doing a video, just a casual selfie video on social media, we judge that. Yes. And sometimes whether we like the person is determines whether we want to engage with them. So these skills at a very basic level, right up to speaking on stage or, you know, speaking on radio is so important for small business. Absolutely. So we've now established the fact that everyone needs it. Everyone needs it. Absolutely. Everyone <laughs> is a little bit frightened about it. Um, now you're living down at Port Arlington. I am moment, at the so moment, yes. You're, you're local. What is is there a, a hard and fast rule for anybody that that really is afraid of public speaking. Is there any easy, quick way to turn them into a public speaker? Yeah, I, my belief is that anyone can be a great speaker. The biggest tip that I I tell people, because so many people come up and say, I'm so nervous about public speaking. And I say to them, when you shift the focus from yourself and you focus on serving your audience, whether it be your client, mm -hmm. uh, the radio listeners today, when you shift that focus and you're serving, because you can't get nervous when you're focusing on others. To be nervous, you need to be focusing on yourself. So you might be saying stuff like, am I good enough? Do I, uh, do I know my PowerPoint's going to work? Will I say the right thing? But when you shift that focus to your audience and serving, then the nerves completely dissipate. All right, so before we run out of time, you've actually got a couple of free events coming up in Geelong, haven't you? Tell I us have. about those. So on the 13th of, Friday the 13th of October, which is a lucky day, mm -hmm. uh, I've got an event from 9.30 till 2.30 at Ridges. It's a free public speaking event. So I've got amazing entrepreneurs, leaders uh, in the industry in, in the region. And so that's going to be a great event to teach you some really fantastic skills and a great networking opportunity yeah. as well. And right. it's free and you can come along and learn everything you need to know about public speaking, delivering your pitch and presenting your best you. Absolutely. And Great. we have heaps of fun. All right. Uh, look, it's a whole lot of fun. Now, people just need to get in touch with Ridges, I suppose, because spots would be limited for this. Absolutely. Yeah. It is. Yeah. So get in touch with Ridges Geelong, uh, Janelle Johnson, and uh, check it out. Because we've 
it, it's easy for us to talk about it because you do it for a living. Uh, so do you, and technically this is what I do. So <laughs> yes. we've all done it, and we all have our own little tricks. What's your favourite sort of trick of public speaking? Because sometimes you know you stand up and you've got a hard room. What What's your favourite little thing to do? It's it's all around mindset for me. So it's about I go in with a mindset of of serving, and I also go in the mindset of these people in my room are so amazing, and I can't wait to deliver as the the training that's going to empower them so that they can be the best version of themselves. So Love it. It's always a good one. The passion is what engages you with the speaker, mm. and everybody has seen someone talk passionately about something, and and that's what always gets them in. So uh, it's a fabulous thing. Again, if you want to see Janelle. Um, Ridges, contact Ridges uh, Friday the 13th. Not unlucky at all. Um, Absolutely. Or had... they can check my website out as well, yep. janellejohnston.com.au. There you go. Uh, find out about it if you want to get along and find out how you can become a public speaker, not necessarily like us, but maybe more like you. Um, <laughs> cause... Well, the listeners are comparing our joking voices to Janelle's perfect execution well, <laughs> delivery. <laughs> but, it all, but look, that's, that's the thing I've always said. When people say to me, well, how do you do it? I say, I'll just make this stuff. <laughs> um, and that doesn't really help them. So uh, if you want some more help, Janelle Johnson, contact me. Just go to the website. Janelle, lovely to see you. Thank um, you for having thanks me. Thanks for coming in. Janelle's even brought us some delicious JJ I cupcakes. Know. I know. Check and, out the social media and have yeah. a look. And if Amy's listening at reception, I don't think there'll be any left. <laughs> Sorry, <so>. Amy. <laughs>